everybody. Today we are in Shenandoah River State Park and we are down here checking out some of the campgrounds because we're going to start camping soon. Hi everyone. Today, Shannon and I are at Shenandoah River State Park, beautiful area, and we are taking a tour, looking around at the campgrounds and the camping that's available in this area. Thought we would share it with you. And if you see in the background, it's a beautiful panoramic view of the Shenandoah Mountains in this area and the Shenandoah River that runs in front of it. Beautiful area. Entering the parking lot of the visitor center and office. And this is the Shenandoah River State Park Visitor Center. Again, very nice little visitor center area, very well kept. And this is one of the trailheads here. We're on the other side of the visitor center and there's a viewing platform with some uh, binoculars, I'm guessing. You can use to gaze across at the mountains and the valley below and the river. Really, really nice park. When they have made these trails around the visitor center, these are friendly and I'm hope, guessing to keep you off of the other areas not to disturb the natural area. There's some picnicking spots up here by the visitor center. It's a very user-friendly park. Very easily accessible to every, every uh, area of the park. Easy to find your way around. And if you can see down here below, there are bicycle racks. So if you're riding your bike and you want to stop here, you can hook your bike up. There's also a pet post with some hooks. If you have pets that you need to leash up for a few minutes, which I've never seen that before at a state park, so thought that was kind of cool. Now this is the horse trailer area over here to the left. So you can pull your horse trailers in. And there are some trails, specifically horse trails, right here that you can take. And it looks as though this is where they store the canoes. I guess as you can rent the canoes, possibly kayaks over here. towards the Colors Overlook. Nice scenic overlook. We are at the RV camping area. We're going to take a little trip through the campground to see what it's like and share some of the sights that we see. Okay, we are approaching. 
approaching the RV campground to the right here. It's a really, really nice, well-kept campground. And from what I can see, most of the sites are either paved or graveled. And the tent pads, if you are going to tent camp, are nice and level. Everything is pretty much level here. Some are pull-through sites and some are not. And these are site-specific, meaning that you can reserve these online. There is a camp host on site in the campground. And there is also firewood. Uh, that you can buy and it's the honor system you leave money in the little box I believe it's six dollars a bundle right now and this is site 19 as you can see these are nice big sites and most are graveled out there are a few paved these are not pull through sites but they're super nice back up to the woods and there are also some really small cabins, really cute, that you can also rent. And these swing around, kind of a loop. All of these sites through this campground. And we are on the river side, I guess is what you would call it, of the campground. And we're going to swing around. These are some really nice sites. And as you come down and around here, you can see that could be your view. Isn't that spectacular? That's the Shenandoah Mountains that you're looking at. But these all on this side of the campground face the mountains and you have easy access to a trail which I believe is the horse trail out there and can walk down to the river and take a nice walk in the morning if you wanted to. This is the inside of the loop. And there are some of these areas that would be suitable for like family camping that are right next to each other. Lots of room. A lot of these sites, you could probably would put a couple of tents on them. I don't know what the rules are, but I believe two tents are allowed. But you'd have to check online for that. There are hiking trails that lead off directly from the campground and the campground sits pretty close to the river's edge which you can walk down to. There are also yurts that are available for rent and these sites have electric and, and water. There's no sewer here think um, but I believe there is a dump station then we're gonna wrap around this is on the inside loop these are some of the cabins which are ha uh, handicap uh, accessible which you can see which makes it super nice and I believe yeah that one cabin is these both would be easy to get in and out of and there are a few of these uh, handicap accessible sites that are paved. But they're all very level and very easy to get in and out of. This is the bathhouse for this particular campground. Nice large size and I'm sure it's nice and clean. We've found that this state park is super nice clean bathrooms and very well cut. We are now heading out towards the cabins that you can rent. Um, this is a really pretty area as well that faces the river in the mountains. So you have a really spectacular view. And these are nice large cabins that can be rented. Okay, 
so we are now in the cabin area and as you can see everything around here is marked very well so it's easy to kind of maneuver your, maneuver your way through the campground and figure out where you need to be we're going to take a little drive through the cabin area and as you can see these are nice large cabins some a bit larger than others and I'm sure that if you went online, there are details about what each cabin, uh, what the amenities are in the space and how many they sleep, so forth and so on. Super nice area. And as you can see, faces the mountains and the river is right down below. Beautiful area. another area it looks like um, you can possibly get your firewood and again it's an honor system you pay for it there and get your wood we're just going to take a walk around one of the cabins there's hardly anybody here and there's nobody at this particular cabin so we thought we'd just kind of walk around to see what they look like but this one is kind of off by itself at the end of a road Nice big windows, and as you can see, and even here, you can hear the river in the distance. Nice great big front porch on it with rockers. And around the front here is a nice graveled out area with a fire pit and a grill. my guess is you can probably go online to look to see what the amenities are but they look like they're very well kept and this like i said this particular cabin's off at the end of a road kind of off by itself so it's kind of nice and then you have a beautiful view of the mountains in front of you you'll find these scattered throughout the park here on uh, the cabin the camping areas and these are for trash and it looks like they have plastic and aluminum cans, so you do have to separate out things, but they are scattered out throughout the campground. This is the canoe launch area. And to the right takes you over to the river right camping, primitive camping, and one of the day use areas, but this is another day use area also. It's lots of picnic tables. And down below is a launch area for canoes, kayaks, and so forth. This is the River Wright Primitive Campground, tent camping only. And as you can see, there's some gravel paths that make it real accessible to get back to the sites. The sites are nice and level, graveled out. All of them have a bear box, fire pit, um, grills, nice areas to camp in. Some are right on the river and some are up, up against the woods. The wood is a self-serve honor system. And there are some carts here to help you get your things back to your site. Super nice. This is a map of the primitive campground that I just spoke about. As you can see, looks like there are about 12 sites here that you can reserve and some yurts. There is also available for use a bathhouse with potable water. Very well maintained area, very pretty area. Anyhow, just meandering down the path here to the primitive sites. As you can see, you are in the woods. Late winter, the birds are singing. And as you can see, these are 
numbered sites that are reservable. These are what they call site specific. But you can go online and reserve these. Not first come, first serve, but site specific. Again, there's another one of the sites not too far from the main parking lot. And these little paths are nicely take, or well taken care of with some gravel and level so it's easy to get in and out of. But you can see this is a single site. Or you could probably put two tents here if you wanted. There's the bear box. Grill fire pit and you have the beauty of the river right in front of you how much more can you ask for super nice there is a path that runs in front of it but here you are right on the river to enjoy the beauty of the river and the sounds of the river And this is one of the smaller sites, number 12. It'd be a nice size for a single tent. There's your bear box and your fire pit, picnic table, and a grill. There's another one down here across the path. Looks like there's a couple of them, maybe. site for more than one tent. As you can see it goes back down in and that goes towards the river. Okay, and there are several areas like this um, that are access points from the river uh, that you can canoe in, kayak in on your boat and tie them up. There's areas down there that you can tie up your boat and walk up to access any of the sites up here.
Again, we are at the River Ride Primitive Campsite area. And this is the firewood, the $6 a bundle right now. That may change later, but right now, that is the price. And it appears to be an honor system. Yeah, you drop your money down into the box. Take your bundle of wood. And there is the sign stating open fires are prohibited mid-February to April 30th from midnight to four. And again, another bathhouse in the primitive camping area. Very easy to get to. A little bit of snow out here still. you can see I don't know that they're open right now they look like they're locked up it's not in season really yet so maybe they're open but anyhow very easy access to the primitive areas Lots of pretty birds out today. Okay, so this is the bathhouse for the private, or primitive, I'm sorry, camping area. It's nice and clean. There's a cha baby changing table and ventilation. It's heated. And that looks like one, two, three, four stalls here. I think this is just the restrooms. I think there's some showers around the side of the building over here, maybe. And this side has all of the showers. There's four showers here. They're nice and clean. They're big. So you could bring your kids in with you and line them up and shower them off. Again, another one of the reservable sites. Nice large area, easy to get to, especially with the little wagons that they provide. You have a picnic table and a bear box, grill, and a fire pit. Nice big area. So you could probably put more than one tent in these areas. And easy to get to. And you can see there are some hiking trails right off of the campground here. And there's a path that runs around the front of the campground here as well. So that's something you might want to keep in mind for renting out any of the riverside campsites that you might possibly have people walking through. Again, you're right on the river. Beautiful. Potable water is available. So you can fill up your water containers to carry them back to your site. This is one of the sites right off the parking lot. And you can see the picnic tables, fire pit. There's a grill, barbecue grill area. There is also a bear box. So that makes it super nice. And then as you can see through the woods, there are paths that are graveled, really well maintained, that take you to several of the different sites and the camping areas through here. They're really nice sized too. Like this, this area right here is too. So you would have an area for a tent here and over there as well. So it's a pretty big site. 
take a walk down this way. You can see across over there in the woods. There's one right on the river. So we've traveled on down past the last site and there is another restroom. I'm not sure if there's showers in there or not. I don't think it's open, but very close by. And then these are the yurts that are down here that you can reserve that are right on the river. And again, you just follow the paths out. Very easy. And again, there are potable water areas throughout the uh, campground. There is no water, electric, or sewer on these sites. These are all primitive. And these, from what I understand, are pit toilets. If you need to use those. So there are also group sites here. And it says available by special reservation. There's a path that leads you up to some of the group sites. And we can take a look at these to see what they have available. But it looks like they all kind of connect nice big areas again with, oh yeah, lots of space for large groups picnic tables, fire pits, and I am guessing that there's a, there are box here somewhere. But yeah, this is a, this one's three levels high and backs up into the forest. And you can hear there's a creek right next to it. Probably flows into the river down below. This is the pit in the center of this group site. It's pretty cool. It's got the grate that can be pulled over top to cook on. Anyhow, this is a nice big parking area for this area. We are heading towards the canoe launch. You can bring your canoe down here and carry it out to the river. As you can see by the sign, there's a 15 minute parking, loading, drop off only. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. We hope that you enjoyed the tour of the Shenandoah River State Park campgrounds. Again, they're so well kept and it's a beautiful area to bring your family out. Get some peace and quiet in nature in the mountains, in the river. And we really appreciate you watching us and go on with us as we wander out yonder.